Right, this is part three of my Hot Wheels unboxing for March uh, 2013. Today is March 7th, 2013. Now we'll be doing some uh, racing. HW racing cars. Let's start with the Vendetta. Really nice. I actually like this version more than the reversed colors. There is a second version which has the yellow body and the green tires. This is, I think, a lot better. This is done in the U.S. packaging. Great for tracks. It's probably track stars. X Racers. Ha. It's like see-through or clear bodies. That's why X Racers is the U.S. packaging. Let's see. Come on. Check it out. It's not as light as I thought it would be. Heavy at the bottom. Metal base. Really nice. Look at that. Look how cool it is. I'm sure it's going to roll well on the track. Love this deco on this one. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something about this chrome and clear plastic that really attracts me to this car. Very nice. Um, yeah. All right. Data. Now the glow in the dark, I can't show it to you unfortunately. Even if I did turn off the lights and close the curtains, it's not gonna show. This camera's not gonna pick it up. Got the 69 Chevelle. Um, there was a blue, ice blue version back in 2012. I ended up just selling that one that we're giving it away uh, because I already have these. The red one and this clear glow in the dark version. I absolutely love this car. Uh, in this in this casting in this type of colors and painting I mean the previous incarnations were just like yeah like the orange one was like yeah but this one this looks pretty nice wow pretty heavy goes very well and I love this color I love I love it like clear translucent look at that you can see right through it right. next the Lead decoed or lead molded nitro door slammer. I love the colors on this one. I like this one actually more than the white version. There is a white version that's come out uh, in the E case, and uh, I prefer, prefer this one. That one has like the blue, the just the plastic molded blue uh, engine. This one has chrome on it, and look at that absolutely wonderful. There is no wheel bar, they've, they've remolded it to look like this, unfortunately. Uh, they use the old rims, not the one that they used for the orange 2012 version, I think. I'm not sure. Or maybe they didn't change it. But really nice. Um, I suggest if you're going to pick one of these. This is, uh, this is abundant. I mean, there's a lot of these cars out there. Uh, just pick one with the nice tempos on the number and the Hot Wheels logo, as well as the stripes. Because I've seen some that have really crappy tempos on them. So, yes. Nice with the um, uh, wall tracks. Uh, there is a version of this with the plastic top. Perfect for wall tracks. All right. Um, next, we have the 2011 IndyCar oval ra oval course race car. Uh, not a big fan of this mold. However, I'm really, really liking the the painting on this one. As you can see at the back, there is the IndyCar logo. This is the international pack. The track aces. Look at that. Nice, not too bad. Pretty heavy. Track aces, but the uh, it's plastic at the bottom. Oh, I'm really glad for that. I would prefer the metal at the top. Nice. Acura NSX. This is probably my favorite casting for this one. My favorite design or paint scheme for this one. This is from the Thrill Racers subline for stunt. Um, it came out in blue and green. Blue in 2010, 11, I think. 2012 had it in green. Um, red, I think, is my favorite for this one. And just the, the, all the um, tampos on this one. Um, it's unfortunate that some of the, the cars I've seen, some of these I've seen on the pegs, have really crappy paint tampos on it. So you just better be careful. But if you find one that's really awesome, even with the Acura logo smack dead on the center, uh, you gotta find one that's like that. I've seen others that have skewed logos here and there, but this one's really nice. I absolutely love it. Look at that. Yeah. Well, five more. Aerodynamic. Nice for the track. Could have been an X racer. Look at that. Clear blue plastic on top and a 
White metal bays. Wow. Even whistles. Because the metal piece is a little bit loose in the middle. Very nice. I love this. This is new for 2013. Portuguese international packaging does not say it. But cool. Ren and Rig, first time you get this. I didn't really pick up the 2011 version because of the crappy colors, but the, uh, the colors, the, the racing colors on this one, just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we, this time around, we got the um, metal, metal top? Is it metal top or plat? Doggone it! It's an all metal car. Son of a gun. Is it? I think so. Son of a gun! It is an all plastic, an all plastic car. Um, the 2011 version had a metal base. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a metal one because I actually picked up one that was loose at a hobby shop. No, I didn't pick it up. I just felt felt it, and um, it was pretty. It was pretty heavy at the bottom. But this one, it's all plastic. Unbelievable, Mattel! How could you screw us like this? Should have kept the top plastic. Come on! I should have kept the top metal. Swapped it. Unbelievable Mattel. But on the bright side, this racing car, track star for that matter, it should be very light. What? Next we have the circle tracker, not the circle trucker. Which is this is the circle tracker. First time to actually pick this one up. This was way back in 2008. I like the colors. I'm not really big onto big with these racing decos, but the new racing decos, you know, as you can see, Hot Wheel, Team Hot Wheels Racing. I'm not a big fan of it, but this year, 2013, they've really done some really nice versions. They're like, I, you know, I can't help but pick them up. This one, really interesting. I'm not sure if it's an actual, if it's an eight. HW Racing Deco, but it's got some sponsors on it. Miller's uh, pattern making since 1986, as you can see. And uh, again, be careful with the with when choosing this car. There's a lot of white tempos that have just been smudged and whatnot. Uh, so just wow, pretty heavy. Uh, very smooth. So last two cars. We'll do this one first. The uh, you again for 2013. Very uncooperative. I don't know, I'm a big fan of these cartoon looking cars. Uh, the Tarmac Attack. It's also it also has a blue version. Blue racing version, as always. It's from the track aces as well. Very cute. I don't think it'll do well on the track. Maybe it will. But it's so cute. Look at that. It's so small. It's like a chibi Formula One. Very nice. And lastly, from the F case, we got Maximum Leeway, design, designed by Mr. Lee Wei. Lee Wei. Um, um, Lee Wei. Let's go to China. Um, pronounce Chinese. Uh, the Chinese name, that's a Chinese name, L I W E A W E I Li Wei. Uh, very talented person. Look at this. I'm so liking this one. I've seen pictures of this one on the internet when it first was revealed. Track aces as well. I was like, what the hell is that? No windshield. And then I was like, when I saw this on the pegs, it was like, oh, look at this. Look at all the tempos it has. Really, really nice. Just make sure you get one with non smudged uh, white tempos and the maximum leeway um, is clear on it. But other than that, I mean, it's got a metal base, plastic top. Can't blame Mattel for turning so much body into it. Turn it metal, be very costly. Uh, nice tire, a nice wheel. Wow, uh, very light. It will do well on the track. I, I can just sense it. But very nice design. I hope they do a metal version of this one. Metal top. But uh, yeah, this guy is talented. Absolutely love this one. I mean, if you don't like it, I'm sure the kids will. There you go. Stay tuned for the succeeding parts. And uh, thanks for watching.